Hey everyone, so I've got a very exciting video for you today because I have my 2019-2020 Erin Condren Life Planner. I have got the actual life planner this year. I still use my petite planner with the folio and I'll talk a bit about that when I'm showing you this. But I really wanted to go back and get an original life planner as well and the one this year is amazing so i can't wait to show you inside of it in a second i'll turn the camera around and we will look at everything i got lots of accessories as well as the planner itself i actually ordered during the pre-sale if you are an ec insider member so i did manage to get this a little bit early i had it delivered to my resort when i was in florida so i managed to um, get slightly cheaper shipping i do get a lot of questions from people about having Erin Condren planners shipped to the UK. The shipping is a little expensive, there's no question about that. And in terms of whether or not you're gonna get a customs charge, I have once had one and then the other maybe two or three times I've had them delivered to the UK, I haven't. So it's very hit and miss. There's no way to know whether you're gonna get a customs charge. It is just something you kind of have to take a bit of a gamble. If you are interested in getting a life planner for yourself or any of the other stuff, I do have a code for $10 of your first purchase and I'll put that link below. Basically what you do is follow the link, sign up for an account with Erin Condren and then they will email you the code to get your $10 off. As you know, I love, love Erin Condren stationery. I'm really loyal to this brand. I always have their life planner every year. I haven't really gone into using many other planners ever because I just, absolutely love Erin Condren stuff. I love the quality and just the design and aesthetic of all of it. It's just amazing. So anyway, without further ado, let's turn the camera around and show you everything that I got. So as we open the box, there's some really nice yellow kind of spring themed paper going on here. As always, it's wrapped really well. Everything always turns up perfect for me. The box was a tiny bit dented, which often happens with like FedEx or whoever is delivering, um, but nothing inside is ever damaged. The first thing in here is this little newsletter thing called Life Made EC, which I love, got another pun. And this has just got lots of information in here about the new launch, about the items um, and everything like that. So, Put that to one side for a minute and i think i'm going to lift this out and get everything in order to show you the planner first and then the accessories so let's get into showing you the actual planner because that's the most exciting thing so this year the planner comes in this box and the planner is five dollars more expensive it does go up periodically i've been getting these planners since around 2015 and um they do raise the price every so often and i guess now that the price is a little more they put it in this box I have to say it's not the most kind of sturdy box you can kind of see here how the top of it it's like a slide on cover and it bows inwards slightly so this is not really really tough uh, card and it just slides open like this I mean it's a cute box it matches the planner so you can definitely keep this maybe when you're done with your planner you can store it in there so that's kind of nice as well um, so it's something that it didn't come with before and uh, yeah it's just that it could be a little bit sturdier the actual box itself is quite sturdy it's just this top part which is kind of a flimsier cardboard but you know it's an extra thing that didn't used to come with the planner and here we have our new planner and this is the new signature kaleidoscope design every year they have a new design which a lot of the accessories feature as well so i had to get this i think this is really really beautiful i love bright colors so let's get this out to take a look through so I went with the regular platinum coil because actually I thought that was nice with this particular colour and it has the ruler on the front which is a snap-in ruler so you can put this wherever you want throughout the planner and this year it's not like a shiny kind of plastic it's like a frosted design with the kaleidoscope design kind of on there as well and I did go for the personalization on the front or you can just have it plain so as we get inside the planner the first thing that I notice is it no longer comes with the little plastic zip up wallet it used to have one of those with every single planner and if you wanted to you could use the coil clip to put it inside I never really used it to coil it inside the planner but it was useful to keep things in now you get this little pack with a few things in here let me just open this up and in here are three of the complement cards one's got rose gold lettering one silver and one gold these are really pretty actually and on the back they're just blank for you to write messages on then there are two gift labels one's got silver foiling and one gold those are quite pretty for using for gifts 
they have the 20% off your next order card and then just a little card here explaining um, that you get a few gifts including the box and compliment cards and things. It does say the hexagon box label. I don't see that in mine but we may come across it. It might be somewhere else among these other things I guess. So on the inside cover it does have the dashboard which you can use the wet erase markers on here and the only thing I don't like it does have this barcode. I guess they have to have that on there to identify the design maybe. I don't really know but I wish that kind of wasn't there but anyway it's not a huge big deal. Then they have this really nice um, vellum page with the design of the kaleidoscope kind of colours going around which is really really nice and obviously just your general page where you can put your name on there then they have a couple of quote pages and this design is just beautiful I really love this I love the colours of it they do have a neutral design where this is more kind of greys and pale blues but I personally love colour so this is perfect for me so the first pages we come to is the calendar that runs from July 2019 to December 2020. Next up we have this page that has 12 blank boxes. This is really good for using for goal setting or reminders. You could have birthdays or something in here. You can really use this for whatever you want to. Then there's a line notes page and another quote. And then this is your first tabbed page to get into July. So this is where things are a little different this year. So you have a dashboard there. And this is a regular page, this is not wet arrays that you would just use normal pens on here or pencil. And this page I really, really like. So this is just like a month summary kind of page. So you've got July at the top there, a box here to put birthdays for that particular month, some dot grid at the bottom, a little lined section, and then monthly goals. So I just think that's really, really nice and I definitely will be using this page. And the next page you have your monthly calendar for July. There is a little note section at the side there. I feel like they've simplified this a little bit. There's not as much uh, kind of pattern and stuff going on at the top. It just seems a little bit more, I don't know, clear and less design on this kind of page here. And then you get into the weekly layout. So with this planner, I've gone for the vertical layout, and like I was saying, this is obviously the colourful design. So first up, you have the little hexagon with the kaleidoscope design at the top with just the month on. Then you have a little tiny month calendar in the bottom and a small line section for notes at the side. And the boxes are divided into three, as always, and then you just have an extra little note section at the bottom there. Again, when I've had this planner in the past, there's been more kind of colour and stuff going on there. This is quite nice because you can add stickers and have it however you want without it looking too busy in the first place. And each month has a different colour design. So let's just flick through and show you those. So once you go from July into August, there is a line note page and a quote page. Then this page again with the monthly summary and the dashboard and August is obviously yellow so I'll quickly go through all of the other months with the colours, they are all the same in the way that they're laid out. So we have purple for September, orange for October and a teal blue for November, green for December, a darker kind of teal green for January, going into pink for February. And if you get a page which goes from one month into another, you can see the colour just changes to um, easily show which month you're in. So there's a mint green there for March, purple for April, peach for May and green for June. And it does have a tab for July and the monthly page and it also has the month spread but then it obviously cuts off on the 1st of July. This planner I went for goes from July 2019 to June 2020. You can also get one that runs from January 2020 to December 2020. Then there's the 18 month version, which goes from July 2019 to December 2020. And that one costs an extra $5 for the 18 month. Then we go into a note section. So there are a few lined pages. Then some dot grid with the kaleidoscope design at the edges there. Then some colouring in pages. This page is kind of random. I'm not sure what this is for. I guess you could maybe put goals or something on there, but they just have this kind of hexagon design. I don't know, maybe it's just decorative. Then they have this let's keep in touch page where you can put names and it's just got blank for, I guess you put addresses or phone numbers or email addresses. Then we have this forward planning page which goes from January 2021 to December 2021. And you've got the coming year at the bottom and just some spaces 
to put any kind of forward planning um, events that you have in. Then a little page here with a quote and just explaining about, I think, how you redeem points and things with EC Insider. Then we get into the stickers and I love these this year. So there's a page of gold foiled stickers. You've got the little hexagons there. You've got some flags, some little arrows, some kind of tab ones. Then we have a page of rose gold foiled ones. There's some little habit tracker stickers. There are just some little flags, some tabs, and just some to-do reminder this week, just some kind of functional stickers. Then there's a page of more fun decorative stickers which have silver foiling. So there's happy birthday, um, some little flag ones here, some little bunting stickers, little cupcakes, birthday cakes, and a few other things there as well. Then you have the kind of classic little appointment stickers. These are really nice. They've got the asterisks and then somewhere to write the information. Mine does have some kind of little blobby ink thing going on there. I'm not quite sure what that is. It just came like that. It's not a big deal. It's only two of the stickers that have that on, so I'm not going to make a fuss about that, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Then at the back, they have the pocket. So this is really sturdy card, and it's got the gold foiling design on it, and then it's got a two-sided pocket, and I'm really glad to see that the back pocket, it used to be this really short little thing at the back, and it was really hard to get anything to stay in there, but now both sides have the nice big pocket on them and you also get the perpetual calendar and this I use as a really tiny diary to put into my bag if I can't take my planner with me because it's too big and I go through and highlight the weekends with a highlighter pen so it's easy for me to see at a glance um, what day is which in this so that's just how I use it but you can use it just to put birthdays and important dates every year that don't change then at the very back you have another um, dashboard and this is one that you could use the wet erase markers and then that is it. So that's the design for this year's planner. I really love this. I think the colors are just amazing. I love the kaleidoscope design. I love the addition of this page and it's really nice paper. They upgraded the paper they use a few years ago and it really is great quality. So I cannot wait to start using this. So let me show you the accessories now. The first thing I got is the new color of the planner folio. As well as my life planner, I also have the folio system, which is this. So I had this one with the blind imprint um, with my initials. And I did notice that the only option they had was the blind imprint. They used to have, I think, a rose gold maybe and a silver or platinum colored um, personalization on there but I think what might have happened is people were finding that it was wearing off so now they just have this blind imprint but I quite like that um, so this colour, I can't remember what it's called. I feel like it was called Lagoon or something. This is a really nice green colour. And in here, you just have the elastic straps to put your notebooks in. So this takes up to four of the petite planners and notebooks, and there's all sorts of different options. I did order a few new ones, which I will show you in a second. And I do have a video showing the petite planner. I will also link that and throw up a card. So that is my new cover. I just really wanted the new colour because this is one of my favourite colours. First book I got to go into the folio that I just showed you is the new notebook. So this is the kaleidoscope design. It's got really nice gold foiling on there. And this is just a lined notebook. Really nice quality paper and tons of pages. So this will go inside the folio. Then I got the travel journal because I do lots of travel and I thought this was so cute. So you have a little quote on the front there. And inside you have these planning pages where you can put all of your flight details, um, lodging, car rental, all that kind of thing. Um, and a kind of to-do section. Then there's packing page there. Then it goes into places to visit, which includes entertainment shops, restaurants, a trip itinerary page. Then it goes into this daily activities. So you can put here what you're seeing today, what you wore, what res reservations you have, and what meals you're having, how much you spent favorite moments and then just some blank boxes and then you have this for each day of the trip and you can actually do a couple of trips out of this I'm not sure how many maybe like two or three weeks 
Then at the back here, you have a sheet of the travel stickers. So these are gold foiling as well. These are really, really cute. I do love these. Um, some of them are decorative, and then you've got others which are like packing and vacation time. Let's hit the road, just really cute things like that. And the other book I got to go in here is this agenda pad now this one i think they actually had in the wedding section because you can get the wedding um petite planners now as well as the regular planner i just really love this and i think i will definitely find good use for it it has the gold foiling on there then the pages look like this so you've got three sections there you've got a to-do list and then a blank section and the whole book is like that it's not dated so you can put whatever date you want on here or you could have different categories or something like that but I just really liked the layout of this one. Then I got the new sticker book, which goes with this range. And I love the Erin Condren sticker books. They are such great quality. So it's got a gold foiling on the front, just really nice. First up, there are some quotes there. Then there are some flag stickers and some circles. Some of them are blank and some have little quotes on. More flags and the colorful hexagon designs. And then more circles and tabs. And some of these have gold foiling, some have silver, and I think some are rose gold also. Then there is a page of clear stickers and these are all little quotes. So it's like note, birthday, this week, um, do your thing, all kinds of different stuff there. Then we have some washi strips, some little flag stickers, celebrate birthday, reminder, just some functional ones there. Some more washi, some appointment style stickers and more little flags. Then more washi and more functional stickers. Then another page of clear stickers. They have these kind of half circle and hexagon ones. These are really nice colours. And another page of clear ones and these are gold foil and they've got the little teardrop kind of tab things. I actually use those quite a lot for reminders. And then lots of little circles. Then some more appointment style stickers and just like reminder, little flags. These are rose gold foiled. Then there are a few little gift labels in the back and some more smaller little tab stickers. So this is a really nice sticker book. There are tons of stickers in here. I really love this and I do use these all the time. Next, I got the new snap-in dashboard. So this is what I like to use to mark the current kind of week page. So you can use the erasable markers on here and you've got a little list where you can put priorities, a habit tracker. Then on the back, you have one that's got all of the days of the week. So you could just put to do's and things like that. And this snaps into the planner. It's got the kaleidoscope design. I just think this is really, really useful. Then I got a couple of sticky pockets. These are to go on the inside and the back cover of the blue folio that I showed you. And then you can use that to hold your stickers in the folio planner. Then I got a pack of the monthly tabs. I just got these in case I want to use them in the petite planner to mark the months because you don't have that like in the life planner where you have the tabbed pages in the petite planner you don't so I just picked those up as well then I got a pack of the snap-in bookmarks they've got the new kaleidoscope design I'm a bit confused because it does say metallic and they do not look metallic at all which is fine I still really like the design on them I'm sorry about the light going in and out by the way um, I'm using natural light here um, but yeah these are just really useful for the coil planner you can mark several different pages at once because there's a pack of three then I got this pack of appointment stickers. These are just really useful. You can put the time there and then put the um, event or whatever you're doing. And this is a pack of three sheets of these functional stickers. So I just really liked those. And finally, I have one of the sticky note sheets. So this has got 30 line sheets and they're sticky up till about halfway down. So they don't like peel up and you can actually um, stick this into the planner. This was given to me for free with the order because I did order during the pre-sale. So I don't know if you always get this for free, but you can purchase this. And also because I ordered during the pre-sale, I was sent a planner charm. And I think this is the EC Insider charm. Sorry, this plastic's hard to get off. So on one side, it has EC Insider. So I don't think that's focusing very well. And on the other side, it says love to plan. So this is just really cute. And this was a free gift. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at my Erin Condren haul. Let me know in the comments what your favourite thing is and um, what you think of this year's life planner. If you have an Erin Condren planner, just let me know anything about it, anything you want to say. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. 
Like I said before, I will leave the link to get the $10 off your first Erin Condren order below. I do sometimes put planner related pictures on my Instagram of me kind of using it, the stickers, and I'm planning on doing a bit more of that in my stories. So if you're not already following me over on Instagram, um, head over there so you can check all of that out. And I also have links to my Facebook, my Patreon, and everything else below. I also do weekly vlogs on this channel as well as lots of other things if you've just stumbled on this video to look at the Erin Condren stuff. If you want to check out any more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!